many people, I would almost say most people, would like to live their dream one day, but very few people are. They're stuck in lives and jobs that they don't enjoy. How do I know that? Because if they won the lottery tonight, many would quit their jobs tomorrow. To me, that suggests you're not living your dream because if you're living your dream, you wouldn't quit. So what I do is show people how to create the life that you want and live your dream. It could be a career. It could be something you want to do in your life, be in your life, have in your life. I show them how to get started making it happen where they are with what they have. That's wonderful. Tell us about the step. What step does the person have to take to achieve their dream? Like I said, many people don't even know what their dream is. And the dream is like a seed. If you have land and you plant no seeds, nothing's going to grow. I don't care how much you water it and how much the sun shines. You first have to have a dream or a seed planted in your mind. Well, how do you how do you get that? I suggest people identify a total of 20 of their talents and interests. Any combination, a talent, something you're naturally good at. You kind of do effortlessly. And sometimes there are talents we don't view as talents because we do it so effortlessly. It's natural. And interest is something that catches your attention. Make that list what's inside of you and from that list think what on this list really jumps out at me that i'm passionate about that makes me happy and from that list what would my dream be and i wouldn't limit it what to what's reasonable or the money you have or what you've done in the past or stayed in school just what would your dream be the bottom line is what do you want so first, we must plant the seed of a dream. So uh, after the person write down these 10 uh, skills or talent, how, do, how can they know which one are they more connected to or, or which hobby they feel happy when they're doing it? Your heart has to speak to you. Only you can answer that question. Again, you may make a list of 20 items combination talents and interests and some you kind of write because i asked for 20 for example but there may be a few or one that just jumps out at you and you have to listen to your heart and your mind say that's the one i'm really passionate about and no one can answer that for you but yourself and sometimes you have to explore these things actively to really understand what they are to make a determination for example I worked in the music business when I was in grad school. I love music, but after a while I realized that really wasn't the right fit for me. So sometimes you have to actively explore things to gain a, an understanding. Is it a, the, the best fit for you? 